Shinobi, I don't think that's me enough. Wow. Oh, what is happening? I hate that bloated so much. 29 to crit. Wow. And Wilson, you only see him. God, this is... How is this going so bad? Vincent is a video fictional as the characters portrayed with him. Any similarities to anyone living or dead are merely coincidental and have been created at random by Xbox name generator. Seriously. <laughs> Hello one and all, Mickey here, Surviving RNG, and today we're going to be doing two crashed fighters. And hey, aliens, aliens, don't complain, you did this, you kicked the hornet's nest, don't be surprised when a Sky Ranger lands and a bunch of hornets jump out and then proceed to beat the out of you. So right now we're going to be doing the easier of the two fighters, Mechtoid, Sectoid, Seeker and Outsider, so let's charge through this and start off with our officer, Houston. You you might be doing both these missions back to back, I don't know. Maybe I'll have Elatan do both of the following missions, I'm not sure. But either way, you're doing this mission and your thin man is dead, still, you won't be back until next month. Going with the Aegis Armor, Plasma Carbon, Plasma Pistol, two chem grenades, two flashbangs and two battle scanners because you've got smoke and mirrors very handy and your concealment right i forgot about that yeah i forgot about that oh that means i can't cloak you damn it right great Leia, you're our concealment soldier you also might get double dipped and that might max you out maybe i'm not sure you're gonna be hard pressed to get 500 xp both this mission and next mission but we'll see going with the archangel armor even though you're a concealment soldier because you're a second shot plasma marks and rifle plasma pistol one two motion trackers and neural gun link and alloy bipod 13 mobility yeah that should be good enough and yes i know you got smoke and mirrors but mm, yeah, it's fine houston will cover it and then Apple, going with the Dauntless Suit, Portal Cannon, EMP, not the Flamethrower, Grenade Launcher, Proximity Mine Launcher, Alloy Carbide Plating, Hollow Targeter, and Battle Computer, because of course we know there is mech this mission. And then Nico, I pulled you out of side training for this. You probably won't get double dip next mission because you will make it to Tech Sergeant this mission. And that extra will plus SARS may live, I'm sure will certainly help out with your side training. Going with the Aegis Armor, Plasma Shotgun, Plasma Pistol, three alien grenades because you got Grenadier and you got Packmaster, two medkits out of three, and two chem grenades. And these are all on Bombard range. And then Raph, it is so rare when you go out on a mission, buddy. And this will get you to Tech Sergeant, but honestly, I might double dip you anyway, because it's, it's, it's so rare when we use you. Going with the Aegis Armor, Plasma Carbine, Alloy Rocket Launcher, Neural Gun Link, Shredder Rocket, and one or two Ghost Grenades. And after remember, you've got Javelin Rockets, so you definitely need to steady. And Heat Warheads, that's handy. And then Atlas. Speaking of maxing people out, Atlas, it is so rare when you go on a mission. And this will be, you're not going to retire, but, but let's be honest, it'll probably be your final mission. And also, hey, you're going to get Master Sergeant Plus One. You'll make it to 6,000 XP. Going with Aegis Armor, Plasma Shotgun, Plasma Pistol, the second Motion Tracker, the second Ghost Grenade, and Walk Servos for a nice juicy 16 mobility. Yeah, I'm gonna miss you Atlas, you've been on some tough missions. And look at that kills to missions ratio, wow, well done buddy. And then time for our extended range soldiers. Shades, you've got three missions left to go. You're going to get double dipped this mission and next mission. And you're going to be going on both those missions because we know Mechtoid this mission and Cybis next mission. Going with the Aegis Armor, the Heavy Plasma Rifle, Plasma Pistol, Neural Gun Link, Combat Stims. Massive, massive overkill for you. You've already got 103 aim. This will put you at 125. Not including depth perception or height advantage. Yeah, that is that is ridiculous overkill, but it's fine. Walk servos for 11 mobility, which is terrible. But you know what? It's, it's fine. Extended range, heat, ammo, light them up, not a problem. And then lastly, Arch. You're getting double dipped from last mission. Not, not very effectively, 45 hours of fatigue left, but this at least will get you to Gunnery Sergeant. Not to mention there's a mechtoid this mission, which means we know there is at least one unit that you can guarantee to hit and run multi-shot. Going with the Aegis Armor, the Plasma Marks and Rifle, Plasma Pistol, Neural Gun Link, Combat Stims, and Alloy Bipod. Making it so there is three people that need Electro Shot, because Leia also has the Adrenaline Surge perk. Another reason why Apple has the EMP. So the list, in case you're wondering, Atlas, you've got Lightning Reflexes, God, that is so handy. Lightning Reflexes, it's, it's such an easy perk to have. Obviously, every scout has it. But in the end, when I'm building my squad, it's actually, it's, it's tricky to fit it in. Cover Destruction, well, I mean, that's, that's one rocket on Wrath. Hopefully, we shouldn't really need it against Sectoids, Mectoids, and Seekers. No Repair, there are no drones this mission, or the last heavy float that I want to capture, or Mutant Elites. But other than that, we have everything covered. As for the pet, as I mentioned, Houston Spitfire is still dead for the next month. And I could go for Shades Chris Lid Chris or, or Zombie Chris, but honestly, it's such a pain in the ass. If I forget before the end of the third turn to teleport the zombie away, kill it, and then spawn in a lid, when the zombie dies, we lose ourselves and may live. So just for that reason, I'm gonna take Atlas's floater fly guy. Sorry, Shades. And right, the most shot perks. Atlas in the zone. Raph, you got CCS. Shades, you got light em up. Nico, nothing. Leia, Sentinel, Overwatch. Houston, light em up. Arch, hit and run, and Apple, nothing. So yeah, <laughs> we don't even have one multi shot perk per person but you know what i'm sure it's fine then the map this is a small crashed ufo on a settlement that means it is either the farm or the gas station so let's get down there grab the meld do mission one kill all the aliens and come back for mission two dropship has arrived 
The next deployment site is in the UK. Unfortunately. Cool, thanks Bradley. Tasty lies. Yep, that, that, that really sums up the air game. Tasty lies. Bradley, whenever you're ready. Br Bradley. Bradley. Cool, cheers. As always, be right back. Okay, and we're back. Fly guy, like Ramen before him, he, he was just tailing the Sky Ranger. Enemy types, we know. Outsiders, Seekers, Sectoids, and Mectoids. That means there are two outsiders on the ship, which leaves 10 aliens, five in each pod. One five pod of Seekers shouldn't really be a problem, unless it's a boss, maybe. The Mectoid Sectoid pod is the only thing I'm worried about, because with the Mectoids being in charge, because there's no Sectoid commanders, that means they can be quite nasty. The Mectoids can be high level leaders, and or a boss, even. Or worse, it can be a double pod of Mectoids. Anyway, we need to move everybody away to EMP, Shades, Layer, and Arch. So let's motion track with Atlas. Oh, hmm, really? Aha, well, isn't that awkward? We already see them. And in fact, they're so close, I'm wondering if they're actually going to be in range to spot us. Okay, well, Apple, fall back. Shades, Arch, Layer. And that should be our range of all you guys. And then EMP, yeah, it is. Cool. Then later, you're going to try and get vision of them, which maybe, maybe not. But what else you got? Nope. Rafi got javelin rockets, you're going to go there and steady. And that's it for the rest of you guys. Shades are going to fly up. You should be far enough back not to spot them. If you are, and this is the mechtoid pod, we, we could definitely be in trouble. Just fly straight up. And arch. You too. And that's it. We can't even move up there. Steady and overwatches. And where's the meld? Meld that way. Okay. All right. There it is, okay. It is kinda next to the ship. It's on the left side of the map, kinda halfway down. All right, Leia, could you give me eyes on? Okay. Oh, crap. Hmm, Seeker Pod. Yeah, I was worried they'd moved. All right, motion track again. I was hoping to save motion track, but screw it. Well, Leia, you're in trouble now. Fly Guy, could you get in here? Hopefully you'll spot him at least. We might even have to command Leia already. Wow, that sucks. Go. There we go, all right. Come on, charge towards us. Brilliant, beautiful, beautiful. Dead Seeker Pod, and you're the leader, and a crappy leader at that. And of course you guys can't shoot, because of course you can't. Land, do you have a shot? Yes you do, okay. Nico, Houston, you got light him up on one of them, him. Atlas, you see those two, so hit and run the leader. Beautiful. Then shoot the back one. Or just kill him, cool. Awesome. Thanks for being Done. such a whopping big target, mate. Apple. These two are injured. You can only target him. They go for him. 79. It's a kill. Nico, go for him. That's a 93. Probably a kill. Maybe. It's a kill. Cool. Atlas, we're not going to use you again. And you've already made it to Master Sergeant plus one. So, sure, Raph, you get a kill. And then Houston. Boop. And boop, 94. Oh, right, you, you need second shot. That's, that's cool. 94. Done. Pod one down. Now, a lot of us are out of position, so I don't really want to move, especially with Leia, our consumer soldier, uh, on the other side of where she needs to be. So that'll do. Yep, we got mech. And rapid fast forwards for now. Okay, so there was two melts. There was one here. So I grab it. Secure. Ten. Oh my god. They are really struggling. You did this, aliens. You did this. And Houston, you have got concealment and two battle scanners for that matter. Throw one there. Mm, nothing. Great. Lay you got one last motion tracker. I don't really want to use it yet. Run. And just fast forwards. And there we go. What are you? A Leviathan, because of course you are. And that makes the second shot 100. Brilliant, beautiful. Then don't grab that, you're gonna overwatch. Confirm, yes, the second shot is 100. And you're not getting flanked, right? No, no, you're not, brilliant. Raph, your javelin rockets are on point, if a little scattery, so steady. Atlas, yes. move up. And Nico with your grenades. And Apple. And Houston, you've got concealment. So yeah, you can go here as well. I think the outsides are a bit further back, so you should be fine there. Run. 
Cool. Flying units move up. And I think you should be in range. Yeah, you are in range. Okay. And that is it. Overwatches. And there we go. Oh my god. Layer, arch, shades. Don't, don't hit the meld. Don't hit the meld. Okay. Didn't hit the meld. I'm glad. Thank you. Layer, second shot. Don't have the first shot hit. Looks good, though. It's a kill. Beautiful. And I've realized he is right in range. Atlas here, I think. With pistol. Nico missed. Now, Leia, he is kind of close. Grab the meld. He is kind of close. Yeah, 94. 94. And if you miss this, you're probably going to get downed with reactive target sensors. Yep. Well, 94 to disable. Somebody's got to do it. And Atlas, you don't see him. Oh, Leia, if you miss this. Although, new plan. Yeah, Apple, that would completely defeat the point, wouldn't it? You could take the hit, hollow target him, and guarantee that Leia will hit. I mean, it's definitely not going to kill you, is it? Step back one. You're on 81. He doesn't have heat ammo, though. Shock is all the armor, and absorption fields will be painful. But yeah, he doesn't have heat ammo. Yes, yeah, screw it, go for it. 81's hit. You can trigger reactive target sensors. Maybe I should have, yeah, I should have shredded with, um, don't hit the meld. Oh, we would grab that, that's fine. Should have shredded with Raph. Notify engineering of possible cool. repairs. Raph? Oh, I don't want to kill him. Yeah, let's not do that. Just get it right on him. Your heat ammo. Boop him. With pleasure. Heat shred. Heavy not bad. Shred a rocket. Not bad. Just remember, he does still have Overwatch. For now. Beautiful. Arch, you got a free shot, and I would use it on him, but he's flagging himself. So Shades, you got the heat ammo, and he's shredded. Not, not amazing damage. Boop again. Okay, sure. Arch, kill the back one. Boop him. I'm, I'm pretty sure Shades is, is sitting on top of you. Yep, yes he is. Guys, guys, that's not how you use Archangel armor. Come on, man. Y you know what, sure. XCOM's an inclusive place. You guys do you. All right, well, Houston, boop him. 24 to crypt, out of concealment. Cool. Geek cloak. And I really don't want to get the kill. I guess Art could try to get the kill. Oh, you know what? Boop him. And then Arch, you kill him. And then Atlas, you could kill both of them, but, but why? Move up. Nico, kill one. That's a 93. Bye bye. And Atlas, I don't really want you to run that way. Yeah, don't run that way. Go there. Run and gun. To there. And then boop him. Done. That's the way you do it. Okay. Fast force for everyone. And we're good to go. Leia, what are they? Outsider Captain and Outsider. Outsider Captain, what have you got? Opportunity Red for anything, Neural Dampening, Lightning Reflexes, CCS, Adaptive Bone Marrow, Jumpy Legs and Sentinel. Yep, so you got CCS. Well, what we're going to do to you is to second shot you, so no CCS for you. Cool. Awesome. Well, uh, I don't know if we can blow this up actually, but we'll try. Let's just boop all of that, try to get rid of that cover as well. Well, it got rid of that cover, I suppose. Then Arch, in that case, fly. Oh, you got one flight charge left. Go as far back as you can, but flank him. Uh, you don't, you don't have any flight charge left. Nope. Great. Then land. Then pull back. No CCS. Thank you. Well, shades. Ninety-five. Steadied. Wow. Oof. Houston. Boop him. Cool. In fact, do it again, buddy. Why not? Yep, when you decloaked, go for it. 89. Cool. Arch, free shot on him. 100. Cool. This is getting too easy. And what is it on him? 92. Okay. Well, Apple, if you don't kill him, Arch does. Hollow and or kill. Wow. Okay. In fact, you know what, Nico? I kind of need you ranked up. You've already made it to Tech Sergeant. But let's speed things up. Hi. Okay, mission one. 
Chalk up another one. Cool. All right then. Nico gets all right. I was going to give you a sapper because you're a grenadier, but collateral damage is so much better. Sapper just guarantees that what the grenades hit, they'll destroy the cover, whereas collateral damage also does that. And as I mentioned in the past, this isn't tied to the weapon being full. That was just a coincidence with mechs only having three ammo. So yeah, do it, definitely. Cool. And Raph, you get Shredder, absolutely. Disabling shot doesn't apply. Shop and armor, no. Shredder, yes. Rocketeer, thank you. And that was five will, not bad. And Arch, okay. Hyperactive pupils, no. Battle scanner, not bad. But adrenaline surge, yeah. I give that to you anyway. That'll free up an item slot on you to carry like a medkit or something. We always need somebody at the back to have medkits. Yeah, do it. Cool. And then Apple, you did not level up. You were sergeant already. Okay then, mission number one. And Arch is out, exhausted for 13 days. Five sectoids, a mectoid, five seekers, 70 Illyrium, 62 alien alloys, eight weapon fragments, 30 meld, 20 of which we grabbed ourselves. One flight computer intact, the other one is damaged, as well as the power source. Let's sell that stuff and move on. All right, but first we were gonna wait for Shinobi, 12 hours. For Shinobi, I think I might just double dip you in both these missions. So, gonna wait till 9 p.m., let's do it. And there you are, buddy, cool. And Atlas, you make it to Sars May Live 8. Done, you have maxed out. Now we roll you a Master Sergeant Plus, even though you probably won't go out any more missions. That's just kind of a shame. Okay, Atlas, what do you get? 96. Is it gonna be something so good that we keep using you? It is Cluster Bomb. That'd be nice. God, that'd be so cool. All units could use all perks. 42, that is something. It's Bioskin. Well, I just checked, because I had a feeling you've already got Bioskin. So no thank you, Randorg. Reroll that to 120. That's a no Illyrium Fuel. Reroll that to 93. Wait, 93? Didn't we have that already? Mayhem. Oh, balls. That's crap. You don't use a rocket launcher, but you can use grenades, and Mayhem is plus one damage on grenades. So that sticks. That's, that's complete crap. Give perk 93. There is your mayhem for grenades. Oh my god, that sucks. And there was your bio skin. Okay, well, Atlas, it has been an honor, buddy. But for now, we have to set up the next mission. And we are back for round two. The only double dip is Shades, because he's got heat ammo for the cyber disc. But Ella Town's going to lead this mission and getting double dipped for the radar. Going with the Corsair armor, because she's got extra conditioning, plasma carbine, plasma pistol, two medkits, two chem grenades, and two flashbangs, because she's got Packmaster. Then our concealment soldier. We have got Wilson, because I know how you love your heavy floaters. Going with the Aegis armor, the plasma Nova gun, one or two motion trackers, our only battle scanner, and walker servos. 14 mobility for concealment. Yes, yeah, good enough. Then we've got Andre, going standard mech stuff, Dauntless Suit, Particle Cannon, EMP Flamethrower, Punch Fist, Alloy Carb by Plating, Hollow Targeter, and Battle Computer. And I noticed that heat ammo, thank you. Then Namisha, going Aegis Armor, Plasma Shotgun, Plasma Pistol, the second Motion Tracker, Walk Servos, because your mobility will be 11, and the first of two Ghost Grenades. Then our Extended Range Soldiers. Let's start off with, obviously, Shinobi. Shinobi, you're going to be double dipped for both this mission and next mission. That's why I didn't want to take you fatigued for this mission, because against Heavy Floaters, you should do pretty well. Not only, of course, the Archangel Armor, and the Depth Perception Gene mod, you're an Executioner in the Zone Soldier. And on top of that, you've got Deadeye. So against Heavy Floaters, you should be pretty much guaranteed to hit them. Of course, killing them is a different matter. Archangel Armor, plus Marks Rifle, plus Pistol, Neural Gun Link, Combat Stims, and the second Ghost Grenade. Then Mason, we need you for Disabling Shot, just in case the side disc gets into a position where we can't kill him. Archangel Armor, plus Marks Rifle, plus Pistol, Neural Gun Link, Combat Stims, and Medkit. And Shades, going pretty much the same as last mission. Archangel Armor, Heavy Plasma Rifle, Plasma Pistol, the Illuminator Gun Sight, Elatan isn't using it, Combat Stims, and Walk Servos, for that incredible 11 mobility. And Nerwall, we're finally going to be training you up, now that Noodle's finished. Going with Archangel Armor, plus Marks Rifle, Plasma Pistol, the Marksman Scopes, you have extended range, Neural Gun Link and Combat Stims, you've got Double Tap and Hollow Targeting. And also, before I forget, Shades actually made it to Master Sergeant 1 last mission. So when we set down and I sort out the officer perks, I will roll him a Master Sergeant plus one perk. So the list, well, cover destruction we have on Mason, it won't be a very good one. It's collateral damage, which is great and all, but you tend to be quite far back. Medkits, we only have three, one on Mason, two on Elatan. That's, I mean, hopefully we should be okay. Shredder, we don't have Shredder. This has me a bit worried. I was thinking of bringing X here and double dipping him for both missions, but Nerwal with both holo targeting and double tap against heavy floaters, I think would be more effective. It guaranteed that Shinobi can get the kills. No repair and there are drones this mission. Yep, we don't have repair. I doubt there's gonna be a boss drone given that the side disc is gonna be the leader. Hopefully it's not a double side disc pod. That is gonna be a big problem. As for the heavy floaters, we could try 
for a capture, I suppose. Even though I checked and we have a couple of rifles spare. I do want to capture one more heavy floater out of principle. But you know what? Given we're rushing two missions to get this episode, I figured if we're going to capture heavy floaters, we'll do it next mission. Multi-shot perks. Right. Shades, light them up. Nerwall, double tap. Mason, rapid fire. Namisha in the zone. Wilson, close encounters. Elatan, light them up and rapid reactions. Shinobi in the zone. And Andre, close encounters. So more multi-shot perks than last mission, but we definitely need it with heavy floaters. Then the pet. You know what? I, I really don't want to mess about with your lid shades. I really don't. What we're going to do is go with Wilson's Peeping Tom Seeker. Got to remember though, they only have three cloak charges, or at least we're giving them only three charges. And by three charges, I mean three turns can end while only they can see an alien unit. At the end of the third turn, we have to pull them back to our squad. So that is it. Let's get down there and do fighter number two. Let's go. Touching down. France is sending an urgent mission request. No. We can secure the site with limited danger to the civilians in the area. No. Dusted hump. I mean, sure. Okay, okay Bradley, thanks. This is Big Sky. We're just north of the crash site. Strike one is in position to engage. Loud and clear, Big No. Yeah, thanks, Big Sky. What's that? You're taking on the UFO? Oh, cool. I'll drop you right off. Great. So anyway, sort out Elatan's officer perks, spawn in Peeping Tom, and roll Shades Master Sergeant plus one perk. And here we are again. Shades, what is your Master Sergeant plus one perk going to be? 69. Good number. Always good number. It is side panic. I mean, you, you don't have it, I suppose. Ugh, that's kind of crap. Okay, we are back. Enemy types that we know of, two outsiders of course, heavy floaters, that's scary, and drones and cyber discs, obviously in the last pod. So two outsiders on the ship, a five pod heavy floaters, and a cyber disc drone pod. Hopefully only one cyber disc in that pod. But given, I mean, given that there's only 10 meld per canister, they are really hurting here. And speaking of meld, I spotted one on the other side of the ship on the high ground kind of here. Hopefully we don't head that direction and it turns out there's a meld over there somewhere. Well, let's motion track and move everybody away from our electroshock people. Aha, that, those might be the outsiders, yeah. Good to know, they might be here. Okay, the mission move up. Oh, meld, just, just there, okay. Yeah, there it is, okay, how did I miss that? All right, okay, five tiles. Yep, you see it, cool. Wilson, in that case, that's clear. Peeping Tom, we're not gonna use you yet, just go there. And then Elatan, gotta remember you've got dead eye as well. There's not really a good place for you though. That's five tiles away from Namisha, so Elatan, that's not safe for you. Yeah, all you can really do is go there and overwatch. Everybody else though, you all get electroshock. And there should be more than enough room for Andre to go there and EMP from there. Cool. And also I forgot in when I was listing out Moshua perks, Andre had actually got double tap. Either way, EMP. Cool. Then fast forwards as we get everybody in the air. Give me meld, please. Yep, 10. Shocker. And at this point, Peeping Tom, I think you get working. Okay, contacts. The heavy floater pod. Well, so as not to end the turn with only you seeing them, Seeker. Uh, Wilson, did I use all your motion tracks already? No, I didn't. No, I didn't. What the hell? Okay, sure, great. I don't think there's any side disc over here with Peeping Tom there, but move up. Okay, five nasty heavy floaters. Every just rapid forwards move up. Okay, then. Give me Overwatch and see if we trigger. And yes, we trigger. Mason, 72. Let's hope they charge forwards. Good hit. No, 72. Come on, buddy. Oh, man, really? Shot wide. Shinobi, 82. God, the health they've got. Big damage, cool. Uh, what? You, you didn't take your reaction move. We just caught you on the ground. Okay. Interesting stuff. Okay, now we got motion tracker. Oh, did I already have active? Moron. Okay, we don't see the side discs. And Andre, no double tap for you. That's a shame. And if you sprint up, I suppose I could command you to get to close encounters, maybe. And Wilson, no close encounters for you either. You know what, Peeping Tom, we've got you for a reason. Let's just make sure we don't end the turn with you seeing them. Move up. Okay, there they are. Wow, they are all on the ground. You're the only one that's flying. Okay, 
Well, in that case, Andre, I'm tempted to have you charge up and flame them all. Pretty sure the outsides are over on that side. We just need to make sure we kill him. And he's not in cover, he's just flying. Okay, Wilson, move. Please, no cyber disc. Uh, nope, no cyber disc. Although that is five tiles at a diagonal. That could definitely trigger. And Elatan, you should be able to see him from here. And who's the leader? You are. Warmaster. You're not an Archon, but you do have Tax Sense Close Encounters. Yay! And Heat Ammo. And Repair Servos. Cool. Andre, charge up. Please, no Cyber Disc. Charge, and then we flame. And I don't know why I can't see from there, but charge. Please, no Cyber Disc. Please, no Cyber Disc. Ooh, okay, okay, okay. Elatan, you see him from there. Move up. And then command. And I don't trust that you're going to have Close Encounters. Yeah, it doesn't say that you do. Flame them all. Let's see who we can panic and who we don't need to kill this turn. Uh, is that only one panic? Seriously? Only one? You? The wounded one, of course. Okay, good. You as well. That's it. Okay. So we need to kill you two and you. All right. That is much, much more reasonable. Mason, I could disable the shot, but instead I could rapid fire as well. How about we get a holo targeting on you? Make you easier to hit. You can't see him, can you? You can't see the one that I want to holo target. Great. I might disable shot you then. 86. Wow. Oof, man. 86 disable shot. Hmm. Shades, you only see him. Damn it. I mean, if you only see him, then go for it. Two 100s. Cool. Shoot him again. Shinobi, I don't think that's me enough. Wow. Oh, what is happening? I hate having focus so much. 29 to crit. Wow. And Wilson, you only see him. God, this is... How is this going so bad? Elatan, you also only see him. Okay, yeah, we're actually in trouble here. We're in, we're in a lot of trouble. We need to disabling shot him. We have to. God, heavy floaters. What, what would he have done if we couldn't panic these two? Disabling shot to him, Warmaster. That is an 86 or somebody might die. Um. Okay, thank God. Beautiful. All right. Beautiful. No. I mean, we still can't do anything about you. That's kind of a problem. But I doubt one heavy float is going to kill these guys. Hmm. I mean, I say that. No, well, he is landed. I wonder. Maybe you could crit him? And Shinobi, you don't see him either. Yeah, you don't see him. Okay, well, no. Your chance to crit is 69. Let's see what you can do. You got double tap. Too bad you don't have hit run yet. Not a crit. That's, that's not great. God, Shinobi, that heavy float can kill you. Or whatever heavy float is still standing can kill you. Wow, my god. All right, you know what? Let's guarantee we can kill one. No, well, can you hit him? Hollow target, 97. Okay, yep. I think Shinobi wouldn't be able to get the kill. Not without him being damaged more. Shinobi, could you please kill him? Cool. Neutralized. Then you. You're going to be live. Kind of tempted for Shinobi you to drop down into low cover. So you've got the least amount of health here. Namisha, go there and hunker. That's low cover. Yeah, hunker there. Shinobi, yeah, I think you dropped down to full cover. I mean, you've only got 12 health. And Wilson, you should be fine, assuming the leader doesn't grenade here, then the other life floater kills somebody. That is kind of grenade bait, isn't it? But I don't want to go further right and potentially trigger the side disc pod. So yeah, go there. That's kind of grenade bait. Seeker, do nothing. Shinobi, you hunker. In fact, everybody here hunker. That's it. What are you going to do, floater? God, what would we have done if they hadn't panicked? Yeah, that's fine. Miss, even better. Uh, you, you're not going to do anything. You're not going to do anything? Really? O okay, sure. Well, uh, let's holo target the back one with double tap. God, I can barely see. Your mech suit's so big. Okay, you. Let's double tap you holo target. 23. That's a miss, that's fine. Then, because you've also got close encounters, close encounters him, boop him, maybe even a kill. It is brilliant. Then, go for the leader who apparently did not reload. Yep, no reload. That, that's, what the hell are you doing? 66 to hit. Either or, holo target, that's a miss. Right. Why didn't he reload? What the hell? Hey, Mason, buddy. Don't know what your collateral damage is going to be like from this range. Move up. Assuming you could even use it, which you can't. You cannot use it. 72s to rapid fire. Wow, 72s? Wow, okay. Shades, you do not have a shot. That's annoying. Move up. Him, that is a 94 in full cover. Go for it. Cool. That is not good damage, though. Nobody else is really going to have a shot here. No, we'll move up. You don't have double tap right now. And I think we just go for the leader. 
We can't kill the back one right now. Rapid fire, that is 76 is on you. Yeah, go for it. Big damage, much better. Excellent, all right. Then, Shinobi, fly up. Kind of risking you here. Go there. This prey doesn't target you. Kill the leader, that's 100, dead. Cool. Then, Nerwal, go for the back one, that is an 82. Hit, okay. Mm, you might kill us, actually. Yeah, cool, take it, Shinobi. That is a 91 to kill. That's a miss, isn't it? That's a miss. <laughs> of course it is, of course it is. That could have been a kill. That could have been flawless. That could have been flawless. We'll send double motion trackers, and you guys, I can't risk you moving up yet. Yeah, I can't until they're dead. Peeping Tom, you can take a move forward and then a move back, so go do that. Okay, there's side disc pod. They are right behind. Only one side disc though, good. Four drones, one side disc, and there is the meld. So fall back so you don't see them. Go. Uh, do you still see them? You don't, do you? No, you couldn't possibly, they're at range. Okay, well, that's annoying, Shinobi, you could have killed him. Wilson, you should be safe here, I don't think he's gonna flank you, go. Run, I'm coming for you! Ella Tan, you do have tons of health, don't you? And I want you to be relatively close. Not in low cover though, wow. Well, I mean, if we know they're there, let me show you can't make that. You know what, screw it, go there. Ella Tan, you've got lots of health. Yeah, go into low yes, cover, one shot someone kill you. Although he's got body shield, isn't he? But that's applying on him, not on you. 62, Andre, absolutely fine, cool, awesome, then Andre, yep, you can't get him to range at too close encounters him, well let's hollow you 23, no double tap this turn, it's fine, yeah, shoot down the tree, that's fine, no, shoot the back one, double tap 82, maybe kill, it's a kill, dead, then, Oh, you're out of ammo. Right, and that was double tap. Great. Shades, shoot him, light him up. 284s. Good hits. All right. Use some ammo over here. Mason, you've got one shot left. Don't bother with rapid fire. 76 to hit. Brilliant. And then, Shinobi, if you'd like to kill, all yours. 81, dead. Now, let's really hope the side disc doesn't trigger now, because all of these guys are out of ammo, except for Shades, I think. And Wilson, if you know they're there, you can start sprinting for the meld. Go. And that is it. Yep, we triggered. No disagging shot. That's not good. Good shot, uh, Namisha. And not a good place for you either. Seeker and Elatan missed. Negative damage. Unfortunate Elatan, you had rank rations. And Deadeye for that matter. And he's right there as well. Ouch. Yeah, that's not great. And we also can't see one of the drones. Yeah, he's right in there. God, that is not good. You know what? Fall back and reload. We need to get our reloads on here. Seeker recloak and stay cloaked. Wilson, that's the last pod on the map. Go run for the meld. Oh, that's perfect. And you guys, I'm worried a grenade is going to destroy your cover and the drones are going to kill you. Now, Latan, that car might blow up, but it won't kill you. Go there, you can hunker. And the mission, I think you're going to run back here. And Andre, unfortunately, you need to stay there and hunker. You've got double tap back, but you can't use it, and also hunker and reload. So yeah, just stay there and hunker. In fact, maybe step out one to the left, so the scientist sees you. Yeah, go do that. That won't trigger overwatch. Cool, yep, yeah, there he is. What is he? Destroyer, not a gun star, so no light him up, but you do have heat ammo. Fair enough, hunker and reload. Elatan, hunker. Sniper's reload. Now he's hollowed. Wait, stay there? Really? Oh, how much damage? That was like 14 damage, even through absorption fields. Wow, God, man. Grab that. Wow! That was terrifying. Uh, before we do anything, Mason, do you see him? Yes, you do. All five. Well, don't know if we need a second shot, Ashley. We have holo tap. God, holo tap. Double tap and holo targeting. 90 hit. No reactive targets. That's on you. Beautiful. Mass. Yeah, there you go. How does it feel? Then, Mason, you might even kill him, to be honest, with a rapid fire. Yep, rapid fire him. Destroyer. Might even kill him. No, no, you're not going to kill him. Don't worry. You'll be fine. Cool, yep. Shades, you probably will kill him. But let's start off with Nerve. We'll double tap, holo target the two front ones, and Shinobi can kill. Or just you kill him, that's fine. 
I'm about to start keeping score. And let's make sure, actually. Oh, Shades, you don't see the side disc. In that case, Shinobi, you know what? Let us guarantee this. You shoot him. That's it. Okay. Shinobi, move up. Not too far, though. Let's make sure you have line of sight. You kill him. Cool. Dead and gone. That's fine. Block the fight, computer. Not a problem. It's not like we need it. Wilson, close encounters? No close encounters. But I don't mind. Move up and shoot. Very well. What have you got? That is a 64. Oh, you hit. A shinobi buddy. Shoot him. Cool. Andre, your last shot. Shoot the one on the high ground. Cool. And that leaves Shades. You're probably going to kill the last one. He's got heat ammo, but that's fine. Yep. See you in hell. Awesome. God, heavy floaters are... They're, they're so... I hate them. They're the worst pod. Besides Ethereals, maybe. Because Ethereals don't really have a counter. But they are the worst pod. Yeah, Ethereals are the worst enemy type. But Heavy Floaters are the worst pod by far. Anyway, give me a rapid fast forwards. And here we are. And yes, I stupidly ran Wilson from like here somewhere through the door to there. Luckily, there was nobody in range. That would have been unfortunate. But yeah, that made getting into position kind of awkward. But like last mission, a Mason could do disabling shot to the outside of commander. Normal outsider, outside commander. That's not the boss, right? Opportunity ready for anything neural dampening, lightning reflexes, CCS, adaptive bow marrow, jumpy leg, sentinel and damage control. Is that the boss? No, that is not a boss. Commander is higher level than captain, but overlord is a boss. So, the second shot him, he's still got CCS and Opportunist, so definitely do it. Cool. Hey, buddy. Awesome. Well, Wilson, you, like so many consumer soldiers before and likely after you, never get any kills. Close encounters. God, Tim was a crit? Tim was a crit. Tim was a crit. Andre, move up. Close and counts him. Oh, yeah, there you go. Elatan, let's make sure Wilson can get the kill. 97. Yep. Wilson, if you would, buddy. Dead. Then Andre, should you get the kill? You've already made it to whatever that rank is. Tech Sergeant, I think. The mission you're ranking up really slowly. I'll be your high level, it's fine. Andre, you get the kill. Big boy. On big boy action. Another day, another successful operation. Yes, it is, Bradley. One episode, two missions, two successes. And yeah, I know I need to train up Victor. I was considering bringing him, but the thing with shivs is that they're not core units. And I know that they're immune to ethereals and basically immune to sector commanders. But anyway, Namisha, heat warheads doesn't apply to you. I mean, it does apply to you, but you, you never use grenades. So show you fight to plus 25% extra FP for every kill you do have in the zone. But given you've only got five health, I think I'm gonna give you will to survive. Yeah, do it, done. 95 aim, not bad. Still only 5 health and still only 11 mobility. That is terrible. And Andre, you leveled up as well. Cool. 5 heavy floaters, side disc, 4 drones, as well as 88 Illyrium, 93 alien alloys, 21 broken fragments, 30 meld, 2 flight computers damaged, and 2 power source damaged as well. Sell them. Done. And you know what? Sure build a plasma cannon. That's a spare. That leaves us with one rifle. I do still want to capture one heavy floater. It's the principle, it's the principle. And we still need one more heavy weapon. Just have it in reserve. Okay, Andre, you've made it to Tech Sergeant. Pyrokinesis, god no. Adaptive bow marrow isn't really that great for you. Although I suppose, unlike shivs. Actually, I can't remember. Do shivs have more armor health than health health? Or is it mechs that have more armor health than health health? Either way, we're not getting it. Of course, of course it has to be rapid fire. Close encounters, double tap and rapid fire. That is, oh, that's good. That, that's very good. And with heat ammo as well. Oh man, absolutely, Andre, do it. And one aim, because of course one aim. Awesome, and you're gonna get double dipped for next mission. Okay, well that's sorted out. And yeah, Andre, the reason why that heat ammo shot did so much damage is because you don't have absorption fields. Funnily enough, you get it your next rank up. You get it somewhere here. 
Of course, you have to give up squad site to get it, but after what we saw there, yes, definitely you've got absorption fields. With absorption fields that make you an incredible mech, you've already got rapid fire close encounters and double tap, all of it applying holo targeting, and your random rookie perk with aggression, with close encounters being your marauder perk, and you've already got damage control. Just getting absorption fields, that would make you an A lister. The shame that you can't get squad site as well, it's a real shame, because your master sergeant perk is crap. Dead Eye Sentinel cells may live. But either way, you just got one more rank up and you'll be safe with absorption fields. I'll have to remember that next mission when you go on it. But speaking of which, we have a raider to go on. 21 aliens, five species, they're all here. Sector commander, outsider, heavy floater, sectoid, and drone. The only thing I'm worried about is heavy floaters. As we saw, just five heavy floaters, just five. That, that was tough to kill. But as I said, that will be next time. Guys, thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to close the cancel like button, tap on the down machines, comment below, and let anybody else know if they enjoyed the video as well. I hope you did enjoy this kind of double whammy episode. We can get to those two small fighters out of the way. But for now, thanks for watching and bye everyone. Bye.